So if food enters your stomach, which it doesn't always after you have smelled or thought about it, if it enters your stomach, the gastric phase begins. So this is when food enters stomach. What is that food? What kind of stimuli does it contain? Um, it's gonna have stretch, results in stretch. It's going to increase the pH of your stomach. Anything you ingest pretty much, even orange juice and coffee, which are acidic, are still gonna increase the pH of your stomach. Your pH of your stomach is super low. That's a stimulus. Um, there's gonna be other chemicals in food that can be detected. So these are detected by stretch and chemoreceptors. Um, and there's going to result in a neural response and a hormonal endocrine response. So the neural response is detected by enteric neurons. Remember the enteric nervous system? These actually secrete additional acetylcholine. What else secretes? Why do I say additional? Well, the vagus nerve is secreting acetylcholine. Yeah, so more acetylcholine is going to be stimulated locally here. This is a local neural response that's going to augment and increase the effects of the vagus nerve that already um, stimulated this from the cephalic phase. So this is going to result in all those four cell types we talked about before. Um, right, those are going to be stimulated even more. That was the result of the vagus nerve stimula stimulation, mucus cells, chief cells, parietal cells, G cells. Um, so it's gonna result in even more HCL, pepsinogen, um, gastrin. This uh, gastrin. This is part of hormone response. Um, the other thing that triggers gastrin besides the local nervous response is partially digested peptides specifically. That's one of the chemicals in the food that is gonna stimulate our G cells to stimulate gastrin release. So that's part of that specific hormone response. The other things that's gonna happen besides gastric secretions, literally increased um, gastric juices is going to be from both of these. Let's see, from both the enteric neurons directly and gastrin are both going to increase peristalsis, which is going to increase mixing, right? Like stomach activity, your stomach mechanically digesting your food. And now we're actually right, these things are all actively digesting food. And as we have partial, as pepsinogen and HCL do their thing, that's going to cause our proteins to be partially digested and cause increased mixing. So it's a kind of a positive feedback system. <laughs> 